टू स्ट्रीम लाइन्स टू स्ट्रीम लाइन्स ऑफ लिक्विड और फ्लूड कैनॉट इंटरसेक्ट इच अदर फॉर स्टेडी फ्लो ऑफ लिक्विड वाई टू स्ट्रीम लाइन्स ऑफ लिक्विड और फ्लूड कैनॉट इंटरसेक्ट इच अदर वाई A streamline is a straight or curved line. A streamline is a straight or curved line or path followed by a streamline is a straight line or curved line or path followed by the cross section of particles of liquid or fluid in steady flow of liquid or fluid such that a tangent to it at any point a tangent to it at any point indicates the direction of flow of liquid a tangent to it at any point indicates the direction of flow of liquid at that point this is a tube and liquid is flowing through this tube and we can draw a streamline this is the line along which the particles of liquid are flowing this is the stream line and which is a curved line and liquid is flowing through this tube or pipe liquid is flowing in this direction towards right and ab is the stream line towards like right liquid is flowing this is the direction of flow of liquid and this is the streamline ab is the streamline at the point c on this streamline if we draw a tangent we can draw a tangent ct ct is the tangent and this tangent indicates the direction of flow of liquid at the point c the tangent ct indicates the direction of flow of liquid at the point c this is the definition of streamline but we have explained that two streamlines of liquid cannot intersect each other in this diagram ab is the streamline and the tangent ct at the point c on the streamline indicates the direction of indicates the direction of flow of liquid at that point c on the streamline now we can come to the main point of this question that is two streamlines cannot intersect each other so in the diagram we can draw two streamlines let a b and c d a b and c d be the two streamlines two curved streamlines streamlines of liquid streamline is a line along which particles of liquid are flowing a b and c d be the two streamlines of liquid in steady flow which intersect at the point which intersect at the point p and we can draw two streamlines ab is the streamline and it is a curved line again we can draw and ab has the direction from a to b and we can draw another streamline another streamline cd this is the other streamline that is cd ab is the first streamline and cd is the second streamline both the line are streamline along which particles of medium particles of liquid are flowing and p is the point at which these two streamlines intersect now we are drawing a tangent tt1 at the point of intersection p 
on the streamline AB. Similarly, and this tangent PT1 indicates the direction of flow of liquid, indicates the direction of flow of liquid at the point P. In this direction, liquid is flowing tangentially. And also we can draw another tangent. Also we can draw another tangent PT2. And this tangent PT2 indicates the direction of flow of liquid at the point P. This tangent indicates the direction of flow of liquid at the point P. Now PT1 and PT2 are the two tangents which are drawn PT1 and PT2 are the two tangents which are drawn at the point of intersection P on the streamlines AB and CD respectively. These two tangents PT1 and PT2 indicate the two different directions indicate the two different directions at the point P. Here the tangents PT1 and PT2 are the two tangents which are drawn at the point of intersection on the streamline AB and CD and which indicate the two different directions of flow of liquid at the point P and this is not possible and this is not possible for steady flow of liquid that is this is not possible for streamline of liquid because two different directions because two different directions that means PT1 and PT2 will destroy will destroy the steady flow or steady nature of the liquid flow will destroy the steady nature of the liquid flow. Again we can explain AB this curve is uh, AB AB is the curve which is a streamline again we can draw another streamline CD P is a point of intersection at P we can draw a tangent PT2 and also at P we can draw another tangent PT1 and this tangent PT2 this tangent PT2 indicates the direction of flow of liquid at the point P on the streamline CD. Direction of flow of liquid at the point P on the line CD. Similarly, the tangent PT1, we can draw a tangent PT1 at the point P on the streamline AB. And this tangent PT1, this tangent PT1 indicates the different direction of flow of liquid, which is not possible. That means at a point there will not be two different directions of flow of liquid for steady flow of liquid. And this is not possible that uh, there will be two different directions of flow of liquid at a single point. There should be a single direction of flow of liquid at a single point. Now we can denote the streamlines for steady flow of liquid. These are the streamlines which will not intersect and they will be parallel to each other. So you are drawing a number of streamlines. Particles of liquid will follow this type of imaginary curved line and uh, this uh, flow will be more systematic and this is streamline flow of liquid. Now we can consider turbulent flow. This is a tube through which liquid will be flowing and it will maintain turbulent flow and this is a line along each particle so uh, particles uh, of liquid will follow. We get this type of imaginary line for turbulent flow. Few lines will follow this type of path 
and uh, few lines will follow this type of path and may form ADs, may form ADs and vortices. So, uh, particles of liquid will follow this type of line in turbulent flow. This is the diagram of turbulent flow. 